we're going to cover is this no depths problem. Um, and basically what this problem is asking is you, you're given a binary tree, which makes this you know significantly easier. And what it's asking you is each level of the binary tree is a depth, right? So the root level, the depth is zero. This level, the depth is one. In this level, the depth is two. And in the final level, the depth is three. So what it wants from you is it wants to wants you to calculate the sum of the node's depths. So for example, we're given this tree and the output would be 16. And that is because the depth of one is zero. The depth of two and three are one plus one. The depth of four, five, six, and seven is two plus two plus two plus two. And then finally, the depth, the depth sum of eight and nine is three plus three. So one easy way to do this um, is we're gonna create a helper uh, method to do the logic. Right, so let's call this method uh, node depth helper, and this no, this this helper method is going to take in a binary tree. Uh, actually, we're not defining this. Let's pass in a binary tree object and zero. Right. So let's go down here, and now let's define this method. So public static. This is going to return an int, and the int value. This is going to be our answer, which is going to be the sum of the nodes depths. Okay. Let's copy this. Put that over there. Friends. And this method is going to take a binary tree. Let's call it, let's call it node. And then it's going to take an int value called current depth, right? So initially we're going to pass the root as the node and then the current depth of the root is zero. Now the first thing we have to check is if, uh, if we reach the end of a branch, don't need to sum anything. Meaning, let's say for example we're at eight over here, right? Once once we go left or go right, it the the value of this node is going to be null, and if it's null, we just want to return zero because we know we know we reached the end of this branch. So if root is equal to null return zero, right? So otherwise, what we're gonna do is, so we are adding current depth, then add left sub tree, and finally add right sub tree. So pretty much what's going to happen is this is a standard tree traversal, but instead of traversing uh, in each line such that we do uh, current node left then right. So instead of doing it like this, we're going to do this all in a one liner and return the sum of those values. So what we're going to do is we're going to return the current depth plus, and this is our recursive step, node depth helper, and we're going to pass in node dot left, comma current depth plus one. The reason we're adding one to this current depth is because, okay, let's say we start at the root node uh, this position, 
with a value of 1. This, this depth of this node is 0. Once we go left or even right, we have to increment the current depth plus 1 because we're traveling further down the tree. So then we're going to add, and I'll just do this on another line so it stays in the recording space. We're going to add node depths helper. We're going to do node.write, comma, current depth plus one, right? And, and let's take a look at it. Given our example here, let's see how this uh, recursive step is going to perform. So the first thing we're going to do, since we're passing in the root with a current depth of zero, we're going to add zero plus, and then the next step we do is we go left, right? So we're going to head to this two um, node. So let's, let's put this here. The value of this is one. Now the next thing, we're going to add one. And we're at the node with a value of two. And we're going to keep traveling left, right? So we're going to go one, then two, then four, then eight, and increment the depths at each of these stages. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add two for node value four. We're going to add three for node value eight. And then we've pretty much reached the end of this branch. So we're going to hit this step, right? Uh, this should not be root. This should be node, right? So once the node is null, which means we're past this eight, we know to just return zero. So then we can start traversing the right-hand side. So next, we're going to do another three for nine. We're going to do another two for five. We're going to do another uh, one for three. We're going to do another two for six. And then we're going to do another two for seven. And so this last part, here's why we, we go back. So if you see, it's, it's reducing. So three to two to one, and then we increase to two. The reason being is we travel all the way back um, back up the tree, right? Iterating through the right-hand side. And then we get to three, which also has a left-hand side. So we need to go back left, right? Which is why we're adding the two for six and the two for seven. So now, if I just add zero plus one plus two plus three, plus one, plus two, plus two. So if I add all these values up, we should get 16. And that's how we get our sample output 16. Now, let's see if it'll work once we run it. We don't need this extra return statement. No depth helper, we're passing in root, takes in a node, we're passing in zero to start as the current depth. If we reach the end of a branch, we don't sum anything, so we simply return zero, and we're adding the current depth first, then iterating through the left subtree here, then iterating through the right subtree here. So I think this should work. Let's run the code. And we have a successful solution. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe.